Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for November 2nd. So 11 to uh, the second into the third, you know, because we have people in the different countries watching these, and we're all on different timelines, and the universe is on different timelines, right? Everybody's at different phases, so the timing is fluid. Anyhow, this reading is for whoever it resonates with. It's not going to resonate with every single person. Keep that in mind. Use your common sense. If this reading is for you, great. If it's not, don't get upset. So I've cut the deck. This is the vice versa deck. And we have landed on the King of Wands reversed. Or, you know, you know, it's just to, these cards are two different aspects. I wouldn't really consider this reversed. It's just a different meaning. Okay, there's cards. There's, there's stuff on both sides. Okay, here this King of Wands is feeling very confident. He's focused. He's he's in control. He's organized. He's strong. He's, you know, he's in charge and he's comfortable. All right, he is. Here he's going within. He's going within. He's he may be um, making plans for his future, trying to decipher where he wants to go next. I mean, he may be turning his back on it, the world right now. You know, I need to really think about something. I need to come up with a plan B by myself. He may be feeling alone or wanting to be alone. This is the sign of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is coming up with a new plan, refocusing. Um, Maybe he's trying to ground himself as well. He may be even praying, you know. So, you know, we have a man here that is probably going within to refocus and come up with another plan. Okay. There's been some there's been some anguish and worry and despair, you know, and he, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't this guy doesn't there's we have a man here that is trying to release he may be asking for forgiveness or wanting forgiveness either way there's something that has been bothering him quite a bit and this is any man we have a man here that has been worrying about something and he's trying to come up with a way to handle the situation on his ter own terms, you know. It looks like he's been stuck for quite some time. This man has been needing to look at things from a new perspective, and now he's doing so. Now he is. It looks like he's been resisting something for quite some time. Maybe he had to prove something, had something to prove. Oh, okay. So we have we have the King of Cups too. So this man is feeling like he's detaching, or he is detaching. We have a man that is probably not wanting to communicate right now, going through a period of withdrawal because he's trying to figure out what his future looks like. And so he may be shutting down emotionally. That's what it looks like to me. It's like, no, I just, I need to just figure this out. So we do have a man that is probably retreating from the world, you know, a little bit lost. The fool. This is starting a new journey. Not taking the baggage, leaving the past behind, working on it. This And this is, well, th to me, I mean, the hangman, if you were to flip it around, kind of reminds me of the fool. It does. Um, starting over. He's thinking about his next chapter. This man is thinking about his future. And the baggage, he's thinking about the past. He's wondering if he should take a risk. If he can really let that past go. He does have a loyal companion behind him though. 
so he's he's just like I don't I don't know now there's definitely some prayers it's like there's some praying there's asking you know now we have the six of wands being recognized This guy has a lot of support, and he and he does have support. So we have a man here. This is this is a, that message. Well, it's for anybody, but we definitely have a man here that, and that, well, that could be a woman. Anyway, we have some recognition, recognized for their valor. There's supporters here. So, this is also a card of victory and success and confidence. This guy is trying to figure out what is the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Because he realizes that people are watching him, he or her. He knows that they, that people look up to him. Interesting. This guy is thinking about what is going to bring balance back to his life. What's going to be the most harmonious move for me? So this man is about to take action. He's thinking about which, which, what to do. He is. He's about to take action. Um, and he's very proud of himself. And he did have something to prove. So we have a man here that's been stuck in his head wanting to prove a point. Wanting to prove a point. And he has probably come to some sort of con conclusion. But... He had been reluctant to take action for quite some time because, you know, facing change, stepping down and making a move is scary. So I think that this man is was in the process of making a complex decision as to what route to take. And perhaps now he is deciding to take action. Looks like he is taking back his power. He had to turn his back to find that force within him to to grow to shed to become come into his oneness right with the magician card i feel like he is headed towards wish fulfillment and he's probably taking baby steps in that direction he wants something stable and secure and solid and he's coming up with a plan he had right now we have a man that is coming up with a plan that is best for everyone involved you know, he's trying to do the right thing. This man has went through some changes with this temperance card. He has evolved. He's done a lot of healing work. He has um, worked on recovering what he's lost inside himself. We have a fresh new start here in which this man, it looks like this man is, is wondering if he should take this leap. Should I take this leap? We have a man here that, and I know that somebody's going to say, oh, you keep saying you have a man. Yeah, I keep saying that. I want to make it fucking clear because I had somebody say in one of my readings, it's not gender based. I want the comments yesterday. You know what? I'm not that other reader. Okay. 
I'm not. I don't, I'm not whoever it is that, that puts all those genders, you know, that, that says, oh, it could be this one. It could be either or if I say that, that's what I hear. I'm talking to my guides. I'm talking to my angels. I'm talking to my God. And this is why I don't do personal readings by phone. Because people want to change it into what they want to hear. No. That's not a true reading. We have a man here that is going within to figure out what his next step is. He's coming up with a plan as to what is going to be the best thing for everybody involved because many people look up to him and watch him. He's trying to find his confidence to make a move. But he wants to make sure that the move that he makes is the wisest move. He's coming up with a plan. He's finding that power, that force within him through contemplation and retreat. And he is going to take action, the action that is best for himself and everybody involved. He's been confused. He's been living in some sort of fantasy and he knows it. But he's evolved and he has changed. And he is, he is finding his power to react in the best possible way. He's doing what he needs to do to get the right answer so that he can find that wish fulfillment and make the most logical, practical move. So I think that there is some action that is going to be taken as this man decides to take a leap, to take a leap of faith. So we, we do have wish fulfillment that is coming. Happiness, abundance stability because we have we have somebody and we know it's a man because we just went through that that has changed he has changed he has he has he's done he's he's dug deep to shed he's taking action he's allowing he's he's allowing Time to, he's giving himself time to evolve. He's doing the right thing. Even though a lot of you don't want this person to be patient, or you don't want to be patient for this person, or you don't want this man to take his time, you don't, you know, that's selfishness. And I know a lot of times I focus on readings for women. And this is for the women that need to hear this. This man needs his time. And you need to be patient. Allow him to heal. He needs to heal too. Allow him to go within. Allow him to retreat. So that he can, he can follow the path that's best for him. So we do have a man that is, is regaining his structure, his power, his strength, his... I mean, the magician is everything rolled up into one. His composure through retreat. Before he takes action. And when he does take action, it's going to be the right thing because he took the time to 
make that right decision. So I feel like it's a day or it's a time of allowing if you're a woman your man allowing your man the space he needs to contemplate what he wants to do because when he makes his decision it's going to be the best decision for everybody involved believe it or not and I know a lot of you women are like hell no we're all individuals And we have a man here that is part of the scenario that is in the process of deciding what is going to make him the most victorious. And he's trying to, to decide whether he should take a risk or not. So do I think that this man is going to rush into your life if you're single? No. Nope. Because he's going through a period of enlightenment. And he needs this time. And you need to be patient. If you are in a coupled relationship, this man may be thinking about moving on. He may be thinking about going down a new path. Either way, this man is thinking about what is his what his deepest desires are. He's thinking about his wish fulfillment. And he's thinking about he's thinking with his heart and he's thinking with his mind. He is going to eventually come with a passionate offer to somebody. But right now, I don't I don't see it happening right now. I don't. But in the long run, there will be wish fulfillment if you can be patient. Because the most solid plans the most solid foundations don't come overnight. They come with a plan. Somebody is planning for a successful future. And that's what you want. How are we going to make this successful? This man is wanting that ultimate wish fulfillment. And he's doing the right thing. So, you know, it is what it is. I feel as though we have uh, somebody, and we know it's a man because we already talked about that, that is retreating. He's going within, he's detaching, he's withdrawing because he is being enlightened at this time. And this is exactly what he needs to do before he takes the leap. This is a wise man. Give him credit. Definitely. So, I don't know who this is for, but it's whatever. I'm going to do another one now. <laughs> Just because, you know, this is a, for a select group of people who are pushing their man, or pushing a man to make a decision. Realize that this man is thinking. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about taking a leap of faith.
He's thinking about what is going to be the best action for everybody involved. And eventually, he is going to take action. And when he does, it's going to be, there's going to be opportunity for fast, quick growth. But you can't do it until he's ready. He has to be ready. It, it, you can't pushing somebody that isn't ready will never work out. So there is an opportunity for wish fulfillment here when this, when this person decides to take that leap of faith. But until then, you can't, you can't make this person. You can't push them. So there is going to be victory and success for this man. And he's going to be respected. And because of his ability to step back and say, hey, I need time. That's a respectable thing. So yeah, I feel like today, especially if you are a man watching this, you're 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 doing the right thing. I don't know who this is for, but we're going to do another reading now. <laughs> 